Welcome to the Battle of the Decades. Today's contestants from IU South Bend's first decade, it's 1968 business school graduate John Vorty. Representing our second decade, a 1986 alumna, also from the business school, it's Christine Pockert Ringel. From IU South Bend's third decade, a 1992 graduate from the School of Education, welcome Daryl Sanders. A 1999 graduate from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, and representing our fourth decade, say hello to Mary Beth Ryan. Last but not least, representing our fifth decade is a 2013 alumnus from the School of Education, Felix Marquez. And now, here's your host, Chancellor Susan Elrod. Thank you and welcome. Let's dive right in and find out who will be favored this round. Here we go. And the categories are IU South Bend programs, chancellors, events to remember, campus facilities, speakers on campus, and Titan Truths. John, representing our first decade, 1967 to 76, will you begin? I'll take speakers on campus for 100, please. This former mayor, who made a run for the Democratic presidential nomination, spoke to Layton School students and alumni in 2016. Who is Mayor Pete Buttigieg? I'll take speakers for 200. This former congressman and iconic civil rights leader delivered the keynote speech during conversations on race in 2001 at IU South Bend. Who is John Lewis? Let's move to campus facilities for $100. A portion of this IU South Bend facility has been renovated to house several growing programs in the Vera Z. Dwyer College of Health Sciences, including occupational therapy and speech language pathology. What is the Elkhart Center? I'll take campus facilities for 200. Prior to holding classes on the current campus, this location was the first where IU South Bend classes were taught. Uh, what is the armory? I'm sorry, the correct answer is Central High School. Uh, let's stay with facilities for 300. This building formerly served as the national headquarters for the Associates Investment Company until it was occupied by the university in 1977. What is the administration building? Uh, facilities for 400. Dedicated in 2004, the construction of this building changed the atmosphere on campus, providing a new home for the Student Government Association and the school's newspaper, The Preface. What is the Student Activity Center? Campus facilities for 500. Known to some as the Cheese Factory, this building used to be owned by Stan's Food Service and currently houses the printmaking studio for the Ernestine M. Racklin School of the Arts. What is the Fine Arts Building? Okay, uh, I'll go to Chancellor's for 100, please. And it's the Daily Double. How much would you like to wager? Uh, let's make it a true Daily Double. Looking to double your money, she is the sixth chancellor at IU South Bend and the only one to lead the campus through a pandemic. Who is the current chancellor, Susan Elrod? Correct. I'm especially glad you got that one right. Okay, let's go with... Uh... Speakers for 500, please. This former United States Secretary of State and National Security Advisor gave a lecture on foreign policy on campus in 1979. Who is Henry Kissinger? Titan Truths for 400. This phrase recognizes our IU South Bend campus identity while connecting back to our ties with Indiana University. What is Hoosier Spirits and Titan Pride? Titan Truth for 500. The student-run organization behind significant entertainment and educational programming on campus. What is Titan Productions? 
And that concludes this round. Let's move on to final Jeopardy. In a new twist, this question is for you, the audience. With an alumni body of more than 36,000, this campaign has the potential to raise more than 360,000 for student scholarships if even half of our Titan alumni give just $20. You decide who will win the battle of the decades by clicking the link and making a gift in support of scholarships for our future Titan scholars. Please share this out and invite your fellow Titan alumni to join the battle.